How to make your own skincare products. Are you thinking of starting your line of beauty products, or would you just like to produce your cosmetics, hair products, and skincare items for yourself? To manufacture your beauty products, you don't need to have sophisticated or expensive ingredients like if you were buying them. You most likely already possess the majority of the required items in your kitchen. Putting together your homemade beauty products at home requires little more than collecting the necessary components and combining them. You'll not only save money but also maintain your finest appearance by doing so. Number 10. Develop a body wash formula. Castile soap, honey, and coconut oil can be used to make a luxurious body wash. You will need 89 milliliters or 3 fluid ounces of each component. Combine the two in a bottle made of glass or plastic and stir well. After that, you can either apply it to a damp towel or poof, or you can do it directly to your body while you're in the shower. First, create a lather, and then thoroughly rinse the soap off. You have the option of including 10 to 15 drops of essential oil in your body wash to impart a pleasant aroma. Some examples of essential oils include lavender, peppermint, chamomile, and orange. Number 9. Combine sugar and oil in a body scrub in the same proportions. In a container made of glass or plastic, mix half a cup, 120 grams, of sugar and half a cup, 120 milliliters, of olive or coconut oil. Mix all of the ingredients thoroughly by stirring them together. While you are in the shower, apply the scrub to your skin and massage it into your pores to remove any dry, dead skin. Remove any traces of the scrub by giving it a thorough washing. You may give your body scrub a pleasant aroma by mixing in half a teaspoon, 2.5 milliliters, of vanilla essence. Number 8. Combine some olive oil with other oils to make a body oil. If you don't have the time or the ingredients, all you need to do is use olive oil as a lotion instead of making your own. This is a terrific approach to ensure that the lotion contains only natural elements. Chamomile and calendula are two of the most effective plants for use in homemade treatments. They can alleviate dry skin while also promoting anti-aging properties. You might try using essential oils like rosemary or tea tree oil, both of which have properties that help reduce inflammation. Pomegranate seed oil offers anti-aging effects. Cedarwood essential oil can calm inflammation. Elong. Elong is an efficient cleaner. And cedarwood essential oil can prevent wrinkles. To impart a pleasant aroma to the oil. Try adding a couple of drops of essential oil derived from peppermint, lavender, lemon, or clary sage. If you love the flavor of coconut oil more than olive oil, here's a helpful hint. Coconut oil has a more subtle aroma than olive oil, even though both will help to keep your skin hydrated. Number 7. Make a homemade face mask with things you already have in your kitchen. There is a wide variety of options available for facial masks. You may get the same results from a homemade facial mask as you would get from purchasing a pre-made mask from a beauty supply store by using food that you already have in your kitchen. For a moisturizing mask, mix one half of an avocado, one tablespoon, 15 milliliters, of yogurt, and one tablespoon, 15 milliliters, of honey. A mask that reduces the appearance of pores can be made by beating egg whites with orange juice and turmeric. A soothing face mask can be made by combining honey cinnamon, and lemon. A mask that helps reduce redness can be made by combining raw oats, honey, and mashed banana. Number 6. Make a straightforward shampoo. Make a straightforward shampoo by combining water and castile soap in an equal ratio. In a container made of plastic or glass, combine 4 fluid ounces, 120 milliliters, of castile soap with 4 fluid ounces, 120 milliliters, of water. After that, Combine the soap and water by gently stirring them together in a separate container. After wetting your hair, apply a quarter, sized amount, about 15 milliliters, of the product to your mane. Use your fingertips to work it in, and then rinse it out completely. To make a more hydrating shampoo, add 1 tablespoon, 15 milliliters, of olive oil and mix it in. To create a shampoo with a pleasant aroma, put 2 to 3 drops of essential oil into the bottle of shampoo. Tip. If you want to relax, try adding the essential oil of lavender. If you want to wake up, try adding the essential oil of peppermint. If you want to smell clean and fresh, try adding the essential oil of lemon. Number 5. 
Make your conditioner by combining products that you already have in your home. Combine one mashed banana or avocado, 4 fluid ounces, 120 milliliters of plain, whole, milk yogurt, 1 teaspoon, 5 milliliters of coconut or olive oil, and 1 teaspoon, 5 milliliters of honey in a mixing bowl. You may also use yogurt instead of the banana or avocado. After you have finished shampooing your hair, apply the conditioner to it. After allowing it to sit for around 3 minutes, you should then thoroughly rinse your hair to remove any remaining conditioner. Bear in mind that this concoction can't be stored at room temperature for very long. Place it in a container that will keep out air and keep it in the refrigerator for up to one week. Create a leave. In conditioner if you want something that will help you untangle your hair and that you can spray into your hair. Number 4.To Make a Natural Hairspray To make a natural hairspray, combine gelatin with water and shake well. Mix 8 fluid ounces, 240 milliliters of boiling water with 5 grams, 1 teaspoon, of gelatin. Make sure the gelatin is completely dissolved in the water by stirring it. After the water has cooled to the desired temperature, the gelatin hairspray can be transferred to a spray container. Depending on your preference, spritz it onto your wet or dry hair. You may keep the hairspray at room temperature for approximately 6 months, but you should shake it well before using it each time because the gelatin may become separated from the water. Number 3. To make a lip balm, melt together some cocoa butter, coconut oil, and beeswax. In a container made of glass or plastic, combine 1 fourth of a cup, 60 grams of grated beeswax, 2 tablespoons, 30 milliliters of cocoa butter, 3 tablespoons, 45 milliliters of coconut oil, and 1 tablespoon, 15 milliliters of almond oil. To melt the ingredients, microwaving them for 15 seconds at a time while stirring them between each interval will work. When the lip balm is still warm, transfer it to smaller containers or pots specifically designed for lip balm and allow it to cool. When it reaches room temperature, the lip balm will turn into a solid. As often as necessary, apply to your lips. Tip. If you like, you can create lipstick or tinted lip balm by adding lip, safe pigment to the balm. The amount of pigment you add will determine which product you end up with. Number 2. To make eyeshadow, use pigments specifically designed for eyeshadow. You can design your very own unique eyeshadow by purchasing the pigments for eyeshadow online and then mixing and matching different colors. You can leave the powder in its natural state or produce a paste by combining approximately 1 teaspoon 5 grams of pigment with a few drops of isopropyl alcohol. This mixture can then be transferred into an eyeshadow pan. The surplus liquid can be removed from the paste by pressing it with a paper towel. Check to see if the pigments you use to make eyeshadow are suitable for use in eye makeup before applying any of them. Number 1. Make your version of mascara. Creating your mascara from scratch is simple if you have a few key components. In a small skillet, combine 2 teaspoons of coconut oil, 10 milliliters, 4 teaspoons of pure aloe vera, 20 milliliters, and 1 teaspoon of shredded beeswax. On your stove, melt the ingredients together over low heat, and once they are melted, remove them from the fire. After that, Incorporate approximately half a teaspoon grams, of either activated charcoal or cocoa powder into the liquid while stirring continuously. Move the liquid to a mascara tube that has been thoroughly cleaned. If you use charcoal in your mascara, it will turn out black, but if you use cocoa powder, it will turn out brown. This is the end of today's video. Do you find it helpful? Must give your response in our comments section below. And don't forget to subscribe to our YouTube channel for more videos.